my name is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is the second video in my Team U unboxing number five and this is just going to be a craft along video. Um, this is the stationery kit that I got um, as part of my um, unboxing and so we're going to first take a look at what's inside. Take the cover. It's got a nice cover on it. We'll move that out of the way. And inside we have this little journal and it's got graph paper so you could use it as a dot journal if you wanted. You could use it for anything. Oh, it's got a little thing to hold. Well, that's good because we're going to use these clips just for the weight, I think, to hold it open. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine. And then um, we've got date stickers you know 1 through 30 or 31 and I'm not gonna use these because I'm not making this into a calendar or a dot journal but they're nice they match this is a butterfly theme I don't know if I mentioned that and so we have these stickers that are butterflies oops I'm off screen I'm sorry so we have these stickers that are butterflies we have these stickers, and they have the white edge that are butterflies. These are stamps stickers. Okay, we have two rolls of washi. One is butterflies, and one is brown. And I found that the washi sticks pretty well uh, from Team U, but we'll see. Um, this is obviously not made by Team U. Um, there's a pair of tweezers for placing your stickers. I've never used tweezers for that, but I can always use them. They're very pointed, too, so they may help us in getting the backs off of the uh, stickers. That might be what they're for. Then we've got all of these papers in different sizes, different patterns. Come on, get out of there. So we've got these that all have different butterflies on them. They're very pretty. Oops. We've got we've got one size larger. Right one size larger and they're postcards it looks like there's five or six of each one they're so pretty we may use this one to fill in we'll have to see I have trouble doing things like this collages and so matchy matchy and so um, linear thinking um, and I'm not going to mind if some of the graph paper shows through just for that reason but I'm not sure that it will then we have these taller narrower ones they're different this is um, like a list then we have the tall even narrower ones they're almost bookmark sized And then we have this larger size. I almost thought it was a notebook. Oh, look at that one. That one's really pretty. But I don't think we'll be using this because I don't think I want to cut anything today. I think we're going to use the pages that fit. Then we also have these um, kind of fake washi stickers. We have the round butterfly stickers. Let me see if I've got. Okay, and then we've also got square butterfly stickers. 
and they're stickers, not rub-ons. I had to look at the edges to make sure. And we have these long, narrow ones. There's a lot to choose from. I'm a little overwhelmed. And then there's little dots that go along with the colors in this. Okay. So we're obviously, at, with the size of these pages, not going to use near, you know, all of these. Then there's um, some two doilies and two butterfly die cuts. There's some stickers that look like mason jars. And there's larger stationary pages. That one's really pretty. Which will obviously... Oh, look at that one. Which will obviously need to be um, cut down to be used in the book. Hmm. It looks like there's only two of each. Yeah. All right, so that's what's in the box. Um, I think we're going to put these big ones back. Postcards. We're going to work with these, I think. And put these stickers to the side for right now. And... Yeah, we may put these back for right now. I'll take a look at this. Mm. Not the clear butterfly stickers. I'll leave those out. Hmm. I'm wondering about a fake washi. Well, we've got real washi today. And I've got a book page and some glue stick. Now, I hardly ever use glue stick, so I'm not the best with it. Um, so let's see about maybe a layout. I'm thinking here. And then maybe here. Or maybe here. Yeah, I think we've got too many already just with, with those. And then we'll do a piece of washi, a brown piece across the top, and a butterfly piece here, and then a couple of butterfly stickers. What do you guys think about that? So, I want to, yeah, I think so. So, I, th I think I want to put this one down first. This is a brand new glue stick. I don't think it's putting any glue down yet. Now it is. don't want to wrinkle the paper. Definitely don't want these. I've never used this glue stick before and it doesn't seem to be very sticky. So let's set that off to dry. Then the glue stick won't work anymore. So I'm going to try Fabri-Tac. I've never had trouble with it. Um, that's not the same image.
So let's move this guy out of here. I've got some other glue sticks. And it may just be that that one hasn't been used. It may need to be scrubbed off. But, um, but it is from Dollar Tree, so... I put that little extra bit on the corners so I can slide it around a little bit. Hopefully, this is pretty thin paper. It's probably 24 pound, I would say. Okay, so let's put this guy. We've got these um, graph lines. Put him right there. Yeah, fabric tax is going to be fine. And we wanted to put. What am I going to use this? And I don't think we're going to use the stamp ones or the white outline ones. I'm I'm on the wall about the long, um, the ones with the white borders. I think they look good on some pages, so I'm sure they can be used in here. Um, so we use those two so far. Or do I want to put any washi on first? I'm thinking I might want to put a piece like kind of across here. Maybe a piece of the butterfly washi. Just part of the way out. Just. I maybe should have done that all the way across, and then I could have dropped this down. Oh, I can still do that. I'll stick this to the side. It's the beauty of washi. And I don't mind it being torn instead of cut. Can't really tell on here anyway. Well, maybe not that torn. And then we're going to bring this up here like so. That's kind of fun. I can see doing one of these to relax every day. It's a big book. So do I want to go ahead and bring it all the way up? Bring it right to the edge. Yeah, then most of our butterfly shows. Then let's put some of the brown washi. To where it'll be on the top. Is it just an image? It is. Pretty easy to find the end.
maybe I'll cut this one so it goes all the way across and doesn't get cut off. And let's make it straight enough that the white paper doesn't show. I know what I'm going to do. down here. I've got some other washi from Timu that I could be using, you know, to complement as well, but I think um, that I just wanted to use what was in the kit for this particular video. Now I'm thinking to fill this in right here and maybe do one up here We'll use some of the stickers, and I'm thinking one, I know I want to use at least one of these round ones. And a big one. You know, I mean, not a big one, but a long one. And then maybe a square one. And maybe this bright yellow one up in the corner. Wow, those come off good and easy. I like that. I'm going to put him up there. Seems kind of obvious to have this square open. Um, let's put another piece of the butterfly washi down here. And I am going to cut it this time. the one with the flowers on it. Kind of butterflied out on this image. I mean, but it is called butterfly and that's what most of the um, almost all the images are butterflies. This worked really well to hold this open, by the way. This washi is sticking really well, and in fact, it's kind of the static cling of washi, this plastic washi. Um, it's almost kind of like gravitating towards the paper. That's why I'm a little crooked here.
So we did use the tweezers. Hmm. I don't like that there. And maybe for a splash of color. Use this bright blue one. Right here. Now, I don't know about this. I, I thought I didn't care if the um, graph paper shone through. And I don't... I'm not sure that I do care. Do you know what I mean? And I'll probably do this page as well on a different day, maybe tomorrow, and um, see what I can get um, using the uh, larger papers and cutting them down. Um, Nope, I don't want to overdo it. I think I'm going to leave it at that. So this is what I came up with. Still not sure about this right here, but it's all a learning experience. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to visit TeamU and get yourself a, um, um, a little kit like this. What did I do? I did something. Oh, it slid. That's what it slid out of the cover. There we go. And um, get yourself one of these little kits. They're not very expensive. I think it's like eight or nine dollars. I'm not sure for the whole thing. With all of these items in here, there's tons of stuff in here. There's way more in the box than what it looks like you would get. Um, and so I'm really happy with it. And uh, I think I'm going to call it a recommend, definitely recommend it. And um, yeah, so that really is it for this video. And I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.